Today, I'm going to be working on the top platform of the Lego City, specifically this area between the hills and the city. This is how the same area looks from the other side of the table, and that's where I'll be mostly working today. The first thing will be to move home alone. Now I can add some base plates. The colour doesn't matter as I will mills plate this entire area just like the rest of the city. I've started work on a small building to help with the transition between the taller city buildings and the cabins in the hills. It will sit nicely with the tree I made in the last video. I've decided to add a car park so I start by extending the length of the road from the tunnels. I can then decide exactly where the car park will be built. I've placed some vehicles here just to work out how much space is needed. Now the road is down, I can begin preparing the car park. To match the height of the road and give plenty of support, I lay a plate and a tile in the entire area. This is lower than the height of road mills plates. The reason for this is that the car park is built differently. So I could make the car park lines look thinner than the main road lines, I couldn't just use tiles for this area. Instead, I've stacked 1x3 dark grey bricks on their side and added white plates to form the lines before laying it down flat onto the prepared plates. Here's how it looks and the heights are all aligned. I will need to create the illusion of having more space than I actually do. So I start by laying green plates down the side of the road so I can then create some tall narrow trees to give that illusion of distance. For those of you who have seen my previous videos you will know that I love building trees. This tree here is a different tree that I have not built before and it uses a really weird technique called leaf weaving. I'm really looking forward to experimenting and seeing how these trees will look back on the table. With all seven of the tall slender trees being placed, I love the overall effect. It screens off the other side which helps to create more interest and it does exactly what I was hoping for, giving the illusion that the road is longer than it actually is. Here's a look at the difference with just one large tree placed in the same space. To add some contrast to so much dark grey and some height, I've also added a small garden bed and a tree. Here's a look at all of the new greenery added to this area. To finish off the car parking area, I add some extra plates and bricks as a foundation for building a small wall. To create access for minifigures, I removed a section of wall and for some more contrast and height, two small trees and garden beds are placed on both sides of the walkway.
This is always the best part, having a look at the before and after. If there was anything in particular you found helpful, or if you have any thoughts or ideas about what I should include in this area, please leave a comment below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again in the next one.